The honey the men are after is guarded by some of the largest and most aggressive bees in the world. Oh, I'm extremely nervous. I don't know what I'm more nervous about, the fact that we're all looking around nervously for tigers or the fact that we're about to go and disturb a bunch of bees who will be very angry about it, wearing, well, not exactly modern safety kit. Like bank robber, the honey robber. It's a heist, isn't it? The men smoke the bees from the hive. They believe it mimics a forest fire, forcing the bees to flee. How about the tigers? Do the tigers, what do they think about the smoke? Uh, when it's really smoky, that is also a dangerous time for tiger attack, because you don't see much around. OK, great. Um, OK, challenge Jay. I can see the hive. This is the time of greatest danger. If the bees flash, the bee equivalent of a Mexican wave, they're about to swarm. Then we need to get out of here fast. The trick is to get the smoke in quickly before the bees become too angry. You can tell how bees are feeling, because they're... There's something about the noise gets a little bit more high pitched, a little bit more angry. They definitely begin to make that noise now. Hi. Now it's my turn to harvest some. I haven't collected honey since I was a child when I did it with my grandfather. But this is a bit different from the beekeeping he was used to. So now you go oh. that way. Oh, wow, it's that easy. It's amazing. That is beautiful. The men don't harvest all the honey. It means the bees can recolonize the hive without having to make another one from scratch. We got away lightly. No bee stings and no sign of a tiger. Oh, the Oh, my God, that's amazing. Oh, I can see why people risk their lives for this. Mm.